I'm going to tell you why the Chicago Bears should win the NFC North. And it starts right now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page because we do talk Chicago sports weekly and we don't want you to miss a thing. So make sure that you hit that bell. Now, the schedule was released yesterday. We went live for the show, broke down what games we thought the Bears would win, what games we thought the Bears would lose. I based my schedule on the fact that Andy Dalton's going to be in there for the whole season. If Justin Fields comes in, all these predictions could change. These are like way too early predictions, right? But I actually believe based on a lot of the things that we saw and heard yesterday that there's an opportunity for the chicago bears to win the nfc north to, to the point that i would say that they should win the nfc north even with the tough schedule that they have i mean i i looked at the schedule i broke it down and i just feel like there are games there that the bears should be able to win i i picked the bears to go 10 and 7 if you guys want to check out the full breakdown it'll be linked at the end of the video um but but i i picked the bears to go 10 and 7 and and i'll tell you why because i looked at the bears schedule and i saw six games against the nfc north and I'm looking at the teams in the North. The, the Lions, I absolutely just, I don't believe in them. I don't believe in Jared Goff. I don't think that Jared Goff is a factor uh, uh, for, uh, or a threat, I should say, to the Chicago Bears. And so I got the Bears sweeping the Lions this season. I mean, we're talking about a team last season who was ranked 20th in offense, and they didn't get better by letting Matthew Stafford go. So I, I, I don't even count them as, as a threat to the Chicago Bears winning the division. I think your toughest competition right now based on the fact that Aaron Rodgers might not be coming back and if you're reading the tea leaves there uh, you you look at the Packers recently signing Blake Bortles yesterday kind of drawing a line in the stand saying look Aaron if you don't want to be here we'll get rid of you or you can leave one or the other or you know or you can retire one or the other so uh, uh, I think that the Packers last night absolutely drew a line in the sand drawing dr signing Blake Bortles and I think that uh, we could see Aaron Rodgers not only leave the NFC North but possibly leave the NFC all together and that just opens things up to me for the Chicago Bears you know what I'm saying I think the Bears toughest competition is going to be the Minnesota Vikings not to say that I think the Packers will be a cakewalk I mean listen still one of the best left tackles in the game still one of the top offensive lines in the game still a great running game still Devontae Adams there's still problems there there's still weapons there but the quarterback play absolutely is going to diminish I don't care if, if you if you went from uh, Aaron Rodgers and then Jordan Love becomes the next Drew Brees that's still a step down you know what I'm saying that's still a step down so that quarter plays a quarterback plays absolutely gonna diminish there in Green Bay so to me your toughest competition this season is gonna be Minnesota now the reason that I think the Bears can beat Minnesota I think the Minnesota and the Bears will have similar records now before I continue with the video I want to know you guys opinion let me know in the comments below how do you guys feel do you think that the Chicago Bears should win the NFC North I'll be down there talking with you as well like I was saying though the the Chicago Bears and Minnesota to me should have similar records somewhere between a 11 and 6 10 and 7 season you might be looking at me like Pat 10 and 6 or 10 and 7 11 is are you crazy listen go go look go look at my breakdown once the video ends and see why I'm saying that because uh, when you look at these teams like I said you're playing six games against the NFC North right you're playing six games against the NFC North so to me you should get at, at a minimum five of those six if Aaron Rodgers leaves the division you should get both Packers games if Jordan Love is in there you should get both Lions games no matter who's in there it's the Lions come on bro and I think that the toughest game for you is going to be the uh, the Vikings game. But the Vikings are a team that the Bears play really well. I think that the Vikings kind of figured out their offensive scheme and it's run the ball and let Kirk Cousins not be the main factor in the game. And listen, that's not going to work when you're sending them at uh, Keem Hicks and, and the returning Eddie Goldman. I mean, th th that Bears run defense with those two up the middle was dominant, and I think that it will continue to be that. Even last season, when, when they were sending Delvin Cook at Keem Hicks without Eddie Goldman there, still completely shutting him down. Now, the numbers don't play out because in, in, I believe one of those games that Keem Hicks ended up leaving early, but I, I think that what the Vikings do well, the Bears have the perfect counter 
better for defensively. And so I think that that means, okay, you got you got to put the game in Kirk Cousins' hand. Well, that, again, plays into exactly what the Bears want to do defensively. And I think that, to me, I, I pick them in the schedule, I believe, to split. But... It, that'll all depend on, you know, the Bears play the Vikings last game of the season. That's going to depend on where everybody's at in the standings. If it is close, like I believe it should be, I think that both teams will have pretty much the same record there. There's an opportunity for the Bears to come away with a tiebreaker there. They have played Minnesota so well. I think that that kind of play continues, and I think that they'll be able to uh, either split, so you get five out of six there, and then now you got to find five wins on the road. I could see the Bears doing that. I absolutely could see the Bears doing that. Now, again, these are the way too early prediction type type uh, 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 breakdowns. You know what I'm saying? We don't see how injuries play out. Most importantly, we haven't seen how the quarterback play is going to play out. But I honestly saw this schedule come out. Now, I understand it's one of the toughest schedules in the league. There's going to be a lot of changes between here and now. Uh, here in the beginning of the season, there's going to be injuries. There's going to be things that pile up between here and the season. Hopefully not for us. Hopefully not for the people against us. But it's just the nature of the game. Uh, and so to to me, when I looked at this, though, I see the Bears having an opportunity where they should win the NFC North. And honestly, I feel pretty confident about that. Y'all may call me crazy. That's just me. But I want to know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. As always, it is your boy, Pat the Designer, back at it again. To check out our full schedule breakdown, click the links here or check the links in the description below. As always, y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Peace.